Uh, another question about the military. Uh, there are people who have worked with the U.S. military as contractor in different countries. For instance, people from Afghanistan, people from Iraq. So, Asumani Kusima from Afghanistan is saying, I stayed in a U.S. military base in Afghanistan. I believe you were maybe a contractor, an uh, interpreter, or you were some sort of uh, cultural uh, aspect expert or any kind of work within the U.S. base. The question is, do I need any document from the U.S. military department or I will need to present the certificates I received from the military defense while at the military base? This is how it is. You were working in the U.S. military base. You are not a U.S. military person. You are not a U.S. military. When they say, if you have served in the military, they mean you, you are a soldier in your country. Not working in the base as a cleaner. Not working in the base as an accountant. No. For me, when I say I served in the military, this is what I served in the military. You see the picture of me in the uniform. You were not in the uniform. What you did, you can, even in the U.S., you can work at the base, maybe as instructor, civilian. You are a civilian. You are not in the military. So you, that is just a normal work experience. You just put just a normal work experience, like if you work at the supermarket, if you worked as a teacher, it's just a work. You don't need to present a document to prove that you served in the military. You have never served in the military. To serve in the military, they mean is you are wearing the uniform. You did a salute. That is how you say I served in the military. So for that particular case, they have the military record. That means you, if you could do a mistake while you're in the military, you can go to the court martial, the military courts. So for you, you worked in the base as a civilian. You don't need a document to say that, oh, a discharge document. Because if you served in the military, show me the show me what day did you enlist? What day did they, what day did you separate from the military? What was the discharge code you have? Did you serve in the military? You don't have those kind of things. So that is something you needed to understand. Just that is just you put as any other work experience. So you don't need to worry about that at all.